right guys how's it going uh, right basically I want to talk about cold crashing now I've got a cider that I want to dry hop but I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna use leaf hops or pellet hops so anyway um, I've been looking online uh, about cold crashing and I'm baffled, still baffled. So basically, if I show you what I've got to work with um, and then anybody out there that can give me any pointers, is that'd be good. Right. So basically, if I do that, my bear bottle actually fits in my little fridge but that's only if I do that uh, obviously I can't have an airlock and it is roughly well, it's because I had the door open but it's, it's been um, measuring at 8 degrees constantly in there so yeah let's shut that up there's my keg as well so this is nearly finished fermenting now ideally because this is the same dimension as my bear bottle ideally I would just dry hop in there but um, I'm not too sure about whether the shock of it going cold would crack the glass I do or do not want that um, and also um, about the better ball I've heard about suck back uh, I'm at a loss so obviously I can't have an airlock in there and the only thing I can do is basically seal this up like this or do the same with that seal that up um so so basically uh i need to know how i can cold crash my beer uh makes a difference because if I'm going to go cold crash I will use pellet hops I could just drop the pellet hops in here and just stick this straight in my fridge um, because pellet hops will drop when they're cold crashed now if I can't cold, cold crash, I will just use normal leaf hops and I just rack to secondary and do it the same way as I've always done it. But I wouldn't mind trying cold crashing. Now, obviously, I could, you can't seal this up and you can't seal this up because there's going to be uh, suck back and the different pressure in the um, the air in the glass or the PET I've heard about the um, this style they sort of collapse in on themselves now I don't know what to do um, I've read somewhere that you can put foil over the top and you know to put it right um, tie it up with a rubber band uh, I can do that I can do that on both um, or people said cling film uh, I just need to know what I can do um, it, so, so if I put cling film on the top of this I'll we'll take that out rack into there put some hops in there pellet hops if I put cling film over that 
um, seal it up with a rubber band or tin foil seal it up with a rubber band um, will it still collapse in on on itself I don't know so basically ideally I'll do it in a glass carboy because that means I don't really need to do secondary but um, peace of mind I'd rather do it in the plastic one but then you've got the uh, you've got the problem with the old suck bag and it collapsing on in, in on itself so what do I do guys help me out so I either cold crash and use pellet hops or just wrap to secondary and use leaf hops it does make a difference to what hops I'm going to use because um, I've got certain hops in pellet form that would be really nice and also I've got some New Zealand uh, wahi tea hops that I really want to use but they're in leaf hop form so anyway so there you go guys just any help would do cheers guys and as always, I'll see you in the next video.